Oh, prophecy, I pray in America because I see shooting in Sunday afternoon and Sunday night. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. More developing news right now calls for a 71 year old killer to step forward. Police say Emma Wright was inside her south side home when two gunmen opened fire from the backyard. Yeah, now her family and the community is mourning her loss. WGN's Jenna Barnes is live now in the Morgan Park neighborhood with more. Jenna. Yeah, Ray Lourdes, Emma Wright's family says she was beloved not only by them, but by her neighbors and her community. Tonight, they are all asking for justice. This is our grandmother. This is the community's grandmother. Emma Wright's nephew can't understand why someone would kill her inside her own home. She grew up in this home. Um, the tragic irony of that. Um, so the home that she grew up in is the, is the actual place that ended up being her last resting place. We're told Miss Wright was in her bedroom in the back of the Morgan Park house Sunday night just before eight when two people began shooting in from outside. Miss Wright was hit multiple times when the bullets pierced her window. She was 71. This grandmother made it 71 years. That wasn't no accident of living 71 years and to have a fool that ended on for five days before Christmas. It, it is unacceptable. Family tells us she lived alone, but often welcomed her grandchildren to stay with her. Young people need to understand, if you get in a conflict with somebody, you bring that conflict right to your family's door. And that's what happened in this situation right here. Now they're asking the shooters to turn themselves in, and they're calling on people who know who pulled the trigger to speak up. Let's get these sick people off the street. Please pray for us, and we're going to be continuing to pray for the city of Chicago. Anyone with information about who may have killed Miss Wright is asked to call police. We're live in Morgan Park tonight. Jenna Barnes, WGN News.